Hey everybody, Damien here back from uh, Disturbing Creations Auto and I'm not going to be fixing anything in this video, but um, I'm kind of getting worried. Uh, I just want to teach people, show people the correct way to do some things, you know. So I'm going to give you two really good tips about your cooling system. The first one is going to save you on hoses so you don't destroy your hoses by trying to separate them from certain plastic parts like your thermostat housing or your radiator itself. Uh, the second tip is going to be to save you lots of money. Lots of money. And over and over the years, even more money. So I see these things done wrong all the time and people just don't know. But I have 20 years experience in the car industry and working on bikes. So I'm going to show you these two things to save you money, to save your hoses, and a trick with your coolant. Now let's get right into this video so you can start saving money right now. All right, so I'm gonna show you a trick real quick. I want you guys to listen to this because this is gonna save you a lot of money, time, and worry. So what happened is I took the hose clamp off of the, um, off the piece back here and this hose is been on this piece maybe 20 years, 10 years, so it is solidified around the piece. Now I see a lot of people grabbing something like this and they grab the hose and they twist it or like something like this and they grab the hose and they'll twist it. Please don't do that. Do you see that both of these tools have teeth? And when you grab the hose tight enough to move it, you start to put tears in the hose, whether you see it or not. And usually, if you have to do that to a hose, the hose is already 10 years old, so it's probably got microscopic hairs and dry rot in it. Anyway, all you're doing is making a disaster. Now, I know this is going to be very controversial on this video, but take a flathead screwdriver and slowly just go around the lip. Go around the lip. Just, just pop it under the lip and just go back and forth around the lip, slide it around the lip. Now at this time, if it starts to just come right up like this one is, it's coming right up. It, I don't even have to do much, you know? I'm, I'm barely touching it, two fingers, two fingers. If you have to get your hand and get in there, what you're gonna do then is you're gonna get either some white lithium grease or some WD-40 or just maybe a little bit of used oil and put it around where the seal is and then try to get your screwdriver in there again and what will happen is you'll be pushing some of that oil on the screwdriver tip under that rubber and it'll make it a lot easier, soften it up, and it'll slide off because you, I don't know where that hose goes underneath. It's under the engine. That means I gotta jack the car up and get under there and do more work. I don't wanna do that. So if it's hard to get the screwdriver in, don't force it because you don't wanna poke a hole through this. So a lot of guys are gonna be like, no, you poke a hole, you poke a hole. You're not gonna poke a hole. You gotta be very careful. Sometimes I like to put my finger on the tip and I only get like that much, like an eighth of a quarter, and I just do it with my finger right there. So I know that my finger is touching the hose while it's going around and I'm not like way back here where I could slip and then stick, uh, stick this through. So that's just a little uh, tip for you. I got everything else off. This thing is ready to go. We're gonna get this last one out and we're gonna pull it out and look at the damage. Then we're gonna, I always buy the concentrate. So this is tip number two. Always buy the concentrate. If you buy the concentrate, you're buying a gallon of coolant. Then you just add some water. And no, that's not soda. It's just a bottle that I use. If you buy 50-50 and try to save $2, you're buying 50% coolant and 50% water. You know what I'm saying? So why not get double the coolant for that extra $2? So you're going to pay $11 for this for 50-50 and $13 for this for coolant. So the $11 is only paying for coolant for this and water. The $13 is paying for everything. You get two. It's like buy one, get one free. Tip number two. If you like that tip, leave a comment down below. Give us a thumbs up. Hit number one in the comments section. We need a little help. Juice the algorithm for us, guys. Come on. We need some likes and subscribes. We're doing a lot, a lot, a lot of work here. Then the editor has to do all the editing and stuff. We need some help out. 
give us some love. All right, let's get this fluid in here and get this car back on the road.